So from time to time, I do get asked questions on how do I sell PCs personally? Are there any tips and tricks that you can use just besides taking a photo and putting it up for sale? And yes, there are a few things that you can do to help you flip those PCs a lot easier and of course stand out from your competition. But also gonna be addressing another question today and that is, should you sell your gear before a heavily rumored launch? Let's discuss. Welcome back to Tech Yes City and first things first, when you go to sell a PC, make sure your photos aren't bad. Presentation is everything and now generally when you're selling PCs from $100 to $1000, you just want a simple plain background on a desk with a nice decent shot. The better the lighting, of course, the better the shot's gonna turn out. However, this can be a detriment as well. If the photo looks too good, especially for example, on a $500 PC, if you've got like a hardware Canuck shot, then people will be wondering what's going on here. Is this too good to be true? So photos and presentation, although it's everything, it's everything in that how you apply that to the particular thing you're trying to sell. So generally you do want to make it all relative to what you're selling. Generally from $100 to $1,000, I'll try and put the PCs in a simple background. If it gets more expensive than that, I'll try and take some fancy shots with the lighting, also some close up shots of the product just to make people feel like they're actually getting more, especially when they are paying more. So just keep that in mind when you're going to sell. The biggest no-no of course, is to have a PC on the carpet with cat hair and dirty uh, rubbish in the shot. That'll really detract away from pretty much anyone wanting to buy that PC. A lot of people who come to buy PCs off me, they tell me, oh wow, you're not some kid selling this out of his bedroom where they walk into the room. And they'll tell me, they just walk straight out of the room if they see a PC on carpet that hasn't been taken care of. So it's a big thing when you're presenting a product, make sure you're presenting it in a simple and cared for manner. If people can see that in the photo, then they're generally going to want to buy that over someone else who doesn't look like they've taken care of their PC, even if they have taken care of their PC. Now the description, another big thing, when you go to sell a PC, you wanna add as much value into that listing as possible. A lot of sellers will list their PCs and they'll just say, me, 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 I, 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 this is what I've done on the PC. Remember, when you're selling a PC, guys, it's all about the customer or you. So for my descriptions, I always put you. You can get this FPS at this resolution. You'll expect this out of these PCs. You can expect a smooth experience. So it's all about you, 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 and less me, 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 I, I, I. So when you're selling a PC, make sure you do those tips and you should have a better time flipping those PCs. Now, since I've done that last five PC parts hustle, I have flipped all those PCs and that's pretty much speaking for itself. So really getting into it, it's a lot of fun. It's definitely a good side. Also, another thing to keep in mind is when you're going to sell that PC in the description, make sure you don't go into too much detail as to confuse the buyer, because generally a lot of people buying PCs, whether they're new or secondhand and they're all complete systems, they generally don't know a whole lot about computers, even how to build it themselves. So they just wanna know the simple details, how many cores, what's the graphics card, and what performance they can expect. If you're going into details like, oh, the memory timings of this, 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 they'll probably just read it and be like, well, what is that? So you don't wanna confuse your buyer as well. So keep that in mind. And also another thing is don't go into too many options. Remember, if you're listing too many options in your listing, that can confuse a buyer and actually detract away from them buying that PC. So for instance, if you went to an ice cream stall and they had 50 different flavors, you may end up not even buying an ice cream at all because of the choices. There's just too many and you can't make a decision. As opposed to them just having five flavors, you'll generally pick the one that you want or the one that you think best suits you. So now another question is, when should you sell your hardware? When's the best time? And generally before a launch is always a good time to sell your hardware, especially if you wanna to upgrade to the latest and greatest. However, for CPUs, it's not always a good thing to sell before launch. As we've seen with DDR4 prices, they've gone through the roof. So people who bought X99 and a 5820K, for example, if they sold that before the Broadwell E launch, I think they would have been at a detriment, especially since that DDR4 RAM was so cheap when it was first released. As opposed to the new Ryzen launch, I'm not really gonna say too much on that. Uh, of course, if you've read the rumors, then you can get a strong opinion of your own. So CPUs are a gamble if you're gonna sell before launch hoping that the prices would have dropped and you would have picked up some money had you otherwise hung onto it and sold it after that launch. One thing that I will say though is GPUs or graphics cards, video cards, 
they are generally a always recommended sell before a launch. If you know there's a rumor of a graphics card generation coming out soon, and you've got your old graphics card, and you can sell it now for pretty good money, then I'd heavily recommend doing that right before the launch. An example of this was when I had a GTX 780, and I sold that for $500 right before the GTX 970 came out. Now, after the 970 came out, those GTX 780s went down to literally $300 across the board. So had I kept that after the launch, I would have lost money, about $200 really, because that's $200 that you're not going to get back. And since a lot of you guys out there have an open mind, you can apply some of these tips and tricks for yourself and help yourself get ahead in life. I always love reading in the comments when someone's been flipping PCs that made a bit of a profit. And also on that note, they're helping out people in the community who would have otherwise been ripped off from a computer store that charges too much for their pre-built systems, whether they're used or new. So something that can be taken out of this is in general, yes, flipping PCs, some people would despise it, uh, but it, if you're making someone happy and you're giving them value that they otherwise thought they wouldn't have got from someone else, then in my opinion, you're doing a good thing for the community and you're also making a bit of money on the side. And also on the flip side of things, if you've got hardware that's on its way out and you know it's on its way out, for instance, if caps are really big and they're bulging and then you know they're ready to go, don't put that in a PC and sell it. It's really just a bad karma thing. And also it'll come back to you where people will spread word of mouth, don't buy a PC off him because he sold me a bad part. For me, if I know a part's bad or I know it's on the way out, I won't put it in a PC. I'll just simply chuck it in the garbage because you are gonna incur some losses when you do hustle in the used parts market. There's always gonna be some bad buys, but a lot of the time you're gonna pick up some really good deals. And of course, I feel sorry for the people who are just getting into it. And I do cop these messages on Twitter. They're just getting into used PC parts and they get a bad deal and it deters them from doing anything else. I uh, really feel sorry for you guys, but just keep going. I mean, I've been hosed numerous times when it comes to buying used PC parts. However, on the flip side, I have got a lot of really extremely good deals in the past too. So, so basically with your hustle, keep on. Karma is a real thing. You do good by people. They're gonna spread a good word about you. You're gonna have people coming back to buy PCs off you. And so that's really all my experiences and that's the things I can tell you with hints on selling PC gear, use PC gear especially, and also selling before launches. CPUs and everything else is a bit of a gamble. GPUs in my opinion, definitely recommend flipping them before a launch. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any tips and tricks of your own that can help out other people. Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.